All right, what's going on, everybody? So I'm going to show you guys how to properly play this. Oh, perfect. We've got it in starting hand. Just going to drop my recruits first play and start emoting because that is exactly what you do to uh, play this game nowadays. Um, I'm going to show you guys how much skill I have today. Uh, he's going to go for the skelly drags in the back. Okay, I can just mother rich up high to snipe that one on the uh, left right there. And he's going to go e-drag. Okay, so he's playing golem. We're playing golem versus recruits. Oh, my goodness. Battle of uh, talent right here. I'm just going to let this go, I think. Actually, no, I'm going to go for the cage in the middle since he put that lumberjack down. That should take care of all that. And we don't get the damage now, but, like, trust me, guys, once we get to the evil recruits, he's going to have no chance at defending. So should be an easy free victory. If you lose with the recruits, you're just bad at the game. So I'm just going to cycle E-Spirit in the back. And, yes, the reason I'm making this video is because I have played recruits for freaking 5,000 games in a row. And I'm really not in the mood to uh, play any more expo because I just know what's going to happen if I play it. So I just want to spam some recruits at the bridge. That is my vibe for for right now. Um, I'm not salty or anything. No, not at all. So I'm just going to cycle my arrows on top of all that. Probably just let this go. I could mother witch. Eh, you know what? I'm going to mother witch now. Um, get that one piggy and then he pumped up so I think it's time that we just outscale him and go recruit to the bridge He probably could defend this honestly if he has the right Sequence, but we'll see what he's got. I think he has Barbaro, which could be pretty bad Yeah, that's really really a lot of value for him and it killed the mother witch, which is kind of unfortunate But we still should get, should get some decent damage. Yeah, we get him down to below 2000. This might be a little bit awkward on defense though um I think I'll just cage to defend both of these. Cage is very underrated on, on defense. It just can take care of so many things for positive elixir trade. So I'm going to skelly drags on top of that lumberjack. Kind of had no other option right there. Um, he's probably just going to pump up again, which could suck for me. Hmm. So he is definitely going to pump up again. Yeah, there it is. I'm just going to arrow both of those, I think. Because um, I can hit all three, like hit both of them with that and then i'll just go ahead and go for the pigs on the left he's probably going to golem nice we predict his golem in the back which is actually pretty huge in this situation 45 seconds left those pigs are not going to take tower he does kind of overcommit though with those skelly drags in my opinion um i'll go mother witch in the back let's see how do i do this he's gonna obviously spam the right side right so i'm just gonna be patient here wait for him to do something else and then he's gonna wait what is he doing he's gonna pump up with 20 seconds left in the game and these towers at 400 is he is he okay like in the head um 15 seconds left now we're gonna end up winning this i think with just one more pig so i just need to make sure i don't lose my entire tower he does go for the e-drag prediction um i could switch lanes honestly but i don't really want to like i don't really feel like it i could also probably just fireball arrows this tower for the win but that's lame i want to get the pigs on tower so i'm gonna go for the um oh my gosh he's goleming what is this guy doing <laughs> I mean, typical golem player, guys. What can you even expect? He's going to go for the Lumberjack and NATO, even though the game's already over. And yeah, that was an absolute battle of talent right there. And we came out on top. All right, we're in game number two right here. I don't have the recruits in starting hand this time, but you already know what I got to do. Just cycle one E-Spirit, and I could go at the bridge, but I'm going to play a little bit passive here and go for the recruits first play in the back. Nice, we catch the miner. Easy prediction right there, even though it still gets on my tower somehow. Um, let's see. He's got Skeleton Dragons as well. I think I'm just going to split mine at the bridge here, too, to just take out his. Uh, get that even trade. Never mind. He's got Barbarians in the middle. Very interesting. I'm actually just going to... Oh, wow. He spent a ton of Elixir right there. Just going to let this go. And I think we could potentially win the game if I'm smart here. I'm um, going to go Mother Witch. It also depends on what he's running. So I'm just going to get those pigs spawning up here. And then... Let's see. I could go pigs in front of this. You know what? I'm just going to do it because I don't really see what he could have. That would be too bad. Um, he's going to balloon other lane. Okay. He's just going to lose his whole tower. Nice. Um, not sure what happened there. I guess he didn't have like anything in cycle, but he did overcommit a lot on that first interaction. So maybe that's why I should definitely not have put that e-spirit down right there. But I think we're fine because I do have Fireball if he tries to go in with, like, Evo Barbs or some garbage. So I'm just going to be patient here. Let these Skeleton Dragons come to me. And, yeah, we're pretty much... I mean, this game is pretty much already over, and I haven't even played the Evo Recruits. Like, this game's just too easy. Even if the Recruits don't get value on, like, the first... Like, you don't take the entire tower on the first push. You literally just get value, like, because they fall behind on Elixir. So I'm going to go for the Pigs. Um... I should not have done that now, thinking about it, because he's got barbs. Yeah, that was really dumb. I Yeah, I think I just lost my entire tower here, because I'm going to have to just sack my left side tower or my right side tower, because I can't defend both, obviously. So I'm just going to go for the skelly drags. Uh, I think I'm going to defend the right side and just sack my left side tower. 
and yeah because i think the barbs have a higher chance of three crowning me if i let them go than the uh, lava hound did so i'm gonna fireball that early i just gotta cycle back to any kind of freaking air counter at this point mother witch should do a decent enough job to take out the rest of this lava hound get me some pups as well as long as he doesn't miner on top of it which it looks like he is gonna do um i don't really need to arrow that too bad i'm just gonna cycle recruits in the back see what he wants to do here he's gonna go for the lava hound very interesting he's gonna lava in the back when he's got all this coming at him uh i think i'm gonna skelly drags on the right side early here and then i'll probably go for the pigs actually um i'm just gonna pigs at the king tower screw it let's go all in go for the arrows on top of that then i can mother witch low he's probably gonna have to miner on top of that if he does he's gonna take a lot of damage on his king tower wait look at his king tower i can just fireball to defend this and the e-spirit as well oh i could have i could have um saved that mother witch if i was quicker but it's fine okay 11 seconds left this is kind of awkward um i'm just gonna go for the pigs He's got barbs, though, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, okay, I might actually choke this game, not gonna lie. I've been playing a little bit too brain dead, so I'm just gonna cycle skeleton dragons in the back. Um, I gotta get back to another set of pigs, I think, is the only way I could win this. So I'm gonna just get the cage down early. Go for the e-spirit in the back. He's probably gonna go a spell on top of that. He doesn't have barbs back in cycle, I don't think, and I should win the game here. Yeah, he goes for the balloon a little bit too late from him. We do manage to pull this one off. I almost choked because I just went over aggressive with those pigs on the right lane, but yeah, recruits bailed me out enough on defense to where I could just continue to win the game. All right, it is the last day of October currently. It is October 31st. We got recruits first place, so you guys already know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Um, If I had cage in cycle, that would have been a perfect flawless defense, and I probably could have won the game right here, but that's unfortunate. Anyways... It is now going to be November 1st tomorrow, and I'm just making this known now that I'm going to be uploading every single day till the end of the year. Like, I'm not going to miss a single day, and I'm making that statement now. I'm 100% going to um, do my best to upload every single day. Like, don't care what it is, um, I will get a video out um, every single day. So yeah, I, I'm on like a two-week streak, maybe even a little bit more at the moment. I'm not too sure, but I want to make that... Uh, at least two months. I don't think I've ever done two months straight of just uploading and not missing a single day. So that's going to be my challenge for, yeah, just the holidays, I guess. School for me gets out in late November, so I'm going to have a lot more time in December. It's just going to be hard getting through these first couple weeks, but I know I can do it if I just am consistent and actually motivated to play the game, which I am um, right now. It's also in season, so you're probably going to be seeing a lot of Wow, he missed that King Tower activation. Well played. Um, but you're going to be seeing a lot of in-season pushing, probably, because I do need to just push a ton. And I'll probably just record the majority of my games and post whatever happens um, from the pushes. It's probably going to be mostly Ice Bow, if you guys are okay with that. I know um, some people want to see, like, Fire Bow and stuff, but it is the last couple days of the season. i got to try and actually get up on ladder. I'm actually going to go Pigs. Yeah, I think he's dead because he just overcommitted with that Musketeer on the left side. Recruit's still doing damage, even though he tried all, like, did his best to defend right there. And yeah, Firecracker is not going to save him. We pretty much have this entire tower. You guys can see how easy this deck is to play. I'm literally not even thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just tossing cards, and it magically is just working. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's going to be my goal for this these next two months, and we'll see if we can get to 30k. That's kind of my goal for subscriber count. You never know. If it doesn't happen, you know, it doesn't happen, but I'm just going to work my best towards it, and you know, I might as well go for it, right? Um, so he's going to go for the Evo Knights. I'm probably going to have to... Oh, that was supposed to go in the right lane. That's awkward. Um, okay, he's going to go hog here for sure. I just need to arrows all this and then go for the recruits. And I think I'm fine. This is going to get a lot of damage, but I'm sure that I'm going to be okay. Um, he gets the tower down to 1,000, but like at this point, it doesn't really matter what he does. I'm going to just fireball that musket here. I thought the Mother Witch was going to stay alive, but that was a pretty good fireball by him to save it. I need to make sure I don't choke this game, so I will be actually having to defend i'm gonna cycle skelly drags because he's probably gonna hog and then i'm gonna go for my royal hog since he just used his fireball there's nothing he can do to defend that and he goes for a late inferno tower which i didn't even think he had a building honestly but that's gonna be game no matter what he does because i have arrows to finish it off pig's gonna do it for me i don't even need to and i can just go for the evil recruits to add insult to, in to injury here and yeah poor guy that is tough also the new champion has been um teased i guess oh i'll talk about it more in this next game coming up here so yes, the new champion, they have released a little trailer for it, um, if you want to call it a trailer, I don't know what I would call it, honestly. But yes, anyways, it is a little prince, is what it's called, um, which is kind of an interesting name for a champion, but, you know, we'll have to see what exactly it does. We can see it has, like, it's kind of like a, 
I don't know, people have been calling it um, Lord Farquaad from Shrek, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And I can see it, but it's kind of like a ranged unit. I'm not really too sure what its ability is, but it's 3 Elixir, which is interesting. There's not been a single champion with a 3 Elixir ability yet, so it's definitely going to be a lot of investment um, to play the ability, which is different than all the champions that have been released so far, which I like, actually. It's going to be definitely changing it up, not just making making it into... Um, like, this card's probably going to be used in more heavy decks, not just only cycle decks, which is going to be very refreshing. Um, but it kind of looks like the Archer Queen. I don't know, it's, it's a little bit weird. I'm not too sure what to think of it right now, but as soon as... I'm, oh, yeah, you can also get it for free, they're saying. So, um, I'm guessing there's going to be a 20-win challenge with it, or, like, some kind of challenge to unlock the card. And I'll be trying to get the best deck, or at least a deck that's a very solid, that worked for me, out to you guys. Literally, as soon as the challenge drops, I will be on top of that. Um, I think that they said November 6th, if I'm not wrong. I could be wrong about that date, but yeah, anyways. Skeleton Dragons to clean up these barbs. I'm very excited about a new champion in the game. It's been a long time since we've had a new card, so yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Gonna go for the evil recruits at the bridge, and yeah, if you guys couldn't tell at this point, this is exactly how you play this deck. You literally just keep tossing cards at the river. Um, doesn't matter what they do, you really just spam, and it just ends up working out. You know, you could overcommit, you could not, I don't know. There's pretty much no way they can um, beat you as long as you're not making mistakes. Like this matchup, even if he takes one of my towers, it's still over because I have way too much split lane pressure for him. I could save my tower, but I actually think I'd prefer to get all these piggies from this mother witch. So I'm going to do that instead. And yeah, he does barely take tower, but we're going to get like five or six pigs from these lava helm pups. And kind of just reset. Go for the skelly drags in the back. He's going to barbs in the back all in one lane. Very interesting play right there. I'm just going to fireball that. Um, he's gonna lava it in front. We're playing Lava Hound again. Nice. Love to see that. E-Spirit should not take all those out. I lied. Um, but Arrows should clean all this up. And then Mother Witch is going to give me a few pigs, I hope. Nope, Mother Witch is gonna suck. Um, I don't know what it is. My Mother Witches die so easily compared to other people's, I swear. Maybe I'm just bad with the card, but it is a very easy card to play. Maybe I just need to master it or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for the Skelly Drags in the back. If he lavas, I can just Fireball. Yeah um not really too much he can do i don't think as long as i don't make any mistakes so i'm just going to continue to wait on him um i'm honestly going to go cage to tank for this baby drag and then i can just e-spirit to help clean up all these pups and yeah look at that chain so much value from a one elixir card um the only one elixir card that gets more value in my opinion is the evo skelly sometimes only in that rare occasion he's going to let that recruit not recruit goblin brawler um hit his tower i could win with the fireball but i'm not going to be lame so i'm just going to try and win with evil recruits we pre-arrow his goblins that's going to be game nothing he can do he goes for the lava hound at the bridge but yeah anyways thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed we'll see y'all in the next video peace